Do you feel like there were times that you had conflict and now you're looking back and you're like, huh, he brought up that fight or there was this conflict because maybe he was thinking this in the back of his head and he never said it? Or do you think those were totally unrelated? There was a lot of times that I was being gaslit. And, you know, once everything was said and done, you know, there was a lot of red flags that I was ignoring. What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Friday. Actually, Friday. Again, round two. I didn't realize you did that. Until I didn't I saw realize your story. either until a bunch of girls messaged me coming for my fucking neck, being like, how dare you? But, but let me tell you something. This week, more than any other week in a long time, I did not know what day it was each day i genuinely thought tuesday was thursday yeah. and i think i said that you on did. the episode you did and i still didn't put together that i you said did. that you said that but multiple times in the studio as well i did and multiple like so many girls dm me being like you really fucked up my morning and i, I felt bad i was mm. like man you know what that is disorienting that like is. you you're listening to a show and they say it's friday and you look down you think you're listening to the wrong episode right i started panicking being like oh my god did people shut off our episode thinking it was the last week's episode yeah you know it's crazy that our um producer didn't catch that i know <laughs> i didn't even think about put that. put it on me yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's all right it's on me i i should have known the day of the week um but i was off i had a crazy week but anyways yeah this podcast is presented by pepsi a wild cherry we got Ooh. our pepsi wild cherry zero sugar sitting right next to us i absolutely love the taste of this mm-hmm. delicious mm-hmm. soda it is the most refreshing delicious a wild soda that you can get whether you are having a night out on the town this weekend or maybe you're just getting dinner with friends or maybe you're staying in alone and you don't want to see a single person and you just want to enjoy yourself grab a pepsi wild cherry and make the most of your little wild moments in your everyday life pepsi wild oh, cherry yeah. we love you we love our pepsi wild cherry especially the zero sugar that's sitting right next to us tastes absolutely delicious especially if you want to cool it down you know pop it in the fridge put it on some ice get that crisp soda feeling get exactly. a pepsi wild cherry get Delish. wild nice meal nice lunch whatever you wish Whatever time of Whatever day. Whatever time of the day. Maybe you wake up in the middle of the night, you're feeling thirsty. Yes. Grab yourself a Pepsi Wild Cherry and get wild. Nice, good, delish cherry soda. There you go. Zero sugar. Yep. Do-do-do-do. I feel like the town crier, like the royal family when they send that man out at the yeah. hospital with the horn and the yells. Yeah. You need your dad to do that. I know. Oh my God. I'm an aunt. Yeah. Ah! It happened. Oh my God, it happened. It happened. Oh. Ah! <laughs> don't start crying again i really might though you might no i really might because i'm not i'm not making fun of you for that i'm just come i just know you cried so much yesterday you gave yourself a migraine so i, I just hope yeah. you you know i cre- cried so much yesterday <laughs> well i'll give a little a, a little backstory quickly um my sister was getting induced tuesday night um she went to the hospital to get induced and there were some complications and they had to perform an emergency c-section i will spare uh everyone the details yeah uh, but i will just say that the numbing did not take and my sister felt everything and so um the baby is healthy my sister is healthy but she has gone through so much um and i feel awful for her Mm. uh but just to see how tough she is being right now is actually amazing and seriously inspiring like we were joking around yesterday because my sister had always been somebody who and like myself you know like I have a headache my stomach hurts this that um but to see the way that she is being herself and laughing and happy and in a good mood it's I'm like I'm amazed I'm amazed with her because of the story like I said I'm sparing everyone the details but the story of um what happened with her is seriously scary and like horror movie level um and i'm sure she is in massive amounts of pain and she's talked about it but just how strong she's being she only she just wants the baby to be okay and like she's just in that mode and he is mom mode the cutest freaking thing and you know like everyone says that you know yeah yeah but yeah. i was like he really is yeah. like it's so great to actually say that you know mm-hmm. um i just no no like i have no words like i really just don't have any words i mean i cried from the moment they facetimed me in the hospital got in the car 
drove to the hospital, cried the entire way there, walked into the hospital room, was crying my eyes out. And my sister and my brother-in-law are like, are you okay? And I'm like, don't ask me if I'm okay. Are you guys okay? Yeah. You guys just became parents. Yep. Um, And I just, I, I, I don't think I've ever held a baby before. Like, I've never held a newborn, I don't think. And so that feeling to look in his face was just the most magical feeling it's like nothing else matters you know like you're looking in the eyes of a newborn and you're like oh my god i can't wrap my head around it like watching my sister and my brother-in-law become parents just in the two days i've seen has been so special and i'm already seeing another side of them that i'm just loving and i can't believe it i mean like i've it's just crazy. Like I've known my brother-in-law now since I was like 13, mm-hmm. like 12, 13, like I'm 26. Like that's yeah. so crazy. Like yeah, they've yeah. grown grown up. I've watched them grown up in yep. front of my eyes, even yep. though I'm younger. Yeah. Like I just can't believe it. Like yep. it's it was seriously such a special moment. Um and Does he have new baby smell? I didn't notice that. Mm. I didn't notice the new baby That's smell. That's something that people they say. They talk about that. Um, maybe, but I didn't. <laughs> people are always like, smell his head. Yeah. You know? I didn't notice that. It's uh, not really. Maybe it's not like the maybe day it's of. Maybe it's set in. Yeah, maybe it sets in. That This was the day of. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I saw him yawn for the first time. Cute. And it just was. Little baby yawns are so cute. I, I, there are no, there are no words. There are simply not enough words in the dictionary to describe it there's not like i am so excited to be an aunt and i am so excited for my sister i i just like i like you hear how crazy things are right but until somebody in your own family in your own life goes through it Mm -hmm. i feel like it doesn't really set in um that's true and just seeing what my sister has gone through and how strong she is, like I, I'm just serious, I'm just so amazed by every woman in the world yeah. that has a baby. Like I, I just in general, like I just can't believe it. Like what our bodies go through, and you always think that, right? And growing up, we, are, you know, there's so many different changes, um, but it is so amazing that a baby just comes from us like what you know no i you you, i know i I sound silly no i don't think you sound silly at all it's like of course it's crazy right but when you really see it in front of you like holy shit it's it's a completely it's completely just an idea until you until it it's happening in front of your eyes right yeah um, but he is just the most scrumptious thing. I cannot wait to spoil yeah. this baby like never before. I, I can't wait to just, what, what are you going to say? I was going to ask if your parents, have your parents come finalize their grandparent names? No, 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 they haven't. They're going to test, test, they're <laughs> yeah. going to test them out. Yeah. One week will be this. They're just kind of seeing how letting him decide. Seeing how it sounds. They're, they're letting Luca decide, I guess. Yeah. Whatever noises come out of his mouth. I said my dad should go with Papa. Papa Mike. He, he Yeah, he was like, oh, okay. Like he has no, because we call on my dad's side, we call my dad's dad, Baba. Yeah. And my mom's mom, Nono. Baba came from like somebody couldn't say, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they all, because my dad also called his grandpa Baba. Mm-hmm. So I said, Dad, are you going to be Baba? Right, right, right. And then he was like, I don't know because I think of my Baba. Mm-hmm. And then we think of our Baba, you know? So he hasn't decided. Yeah, but you just like, I think that wears off. Like, yeah. I think you like accept that you want to be the right. next generation the next of generation the of babas yeah uh, my mom was going back and forth between nana and grandma mm-hmm. um she can't she can't make a decision she, can't decide. she cannot decide she's like let's see how italian this kid looks. right right and then he we'll has a full head of heart of dark hair um i have watched the video of him getting his first bath and them combing his hair he's got a little comb over 20 t- he has a full part yeah this kid has a full part in his in his head 
I can't believe it. It's it's the cutest. It's the craziest. Everything about it. And I will say this. I was really, um, I don't know if nervous is the word, but you start thinking to yourself, oh my God, the whole family dynamic is about to change. Like yeah. everyone's going to act different. Like yeah, that's, that's why I started. That is true. I started telling myself, like, oh my god, like, is everyone's personality going to change now? Right. This- well, it's just the next, the next generation. Right. Has, it, it has started for it's the family. Insane and confirmed. And nobody's he's the leader. Nobody's personality changed yesterday. Everybody was exactly the same. And I said, yeah. you know what? I'm very happy to see this. Even my sister, like, like I said, my sister went through yeah a fucking lot. Like the store, like it is a lot. Um, And I don't expect her to be in a happy go lucky mood after what she went through. Like, that's not what I expect. But to see her be herself and be in in a happy, funny, joking around mood was like, she's probably uh, like, thank God. No, I, I, right. I think, you know, that that too. She's like, thank God. Relief. uh, There's relief and he's healthy and and everything's good. Um, Yeah. But I just was so, so amazed by her and um, by my brother-in-law who, uh, you know, he has a tough personality and everybody loves him. He has this tough personality and can be hard to crack sometimes, but he's hilarious. But, you know, he's got that hard uh, Mm -hmm. exterior. Um, And just to see this soft side of him, it's just it's. I I am literally tearing up, yeah. and if he hears that I start tearing up talking about him, yeah, like no, he's you going can't to let that make happen. fun of he me will, yeah, no, so much. No. I won't live it down. Yeah. Um. Be so I'm gonna hold that real. in. Get it together. Yeah. He's gonna be like, fucking stop. Um. <laughs> even even yesterday, he was like, are you, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. no, you you stop asking me if I'm okay. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Uh. It's just I I'm just so. What about happy. Uh, any any conflicts in grand parent names from James's side? No, they're they're set. They're set. They're set. They're set. They're set. Uh, James's mom's gonna go by Nana, okay. and that was never in the rotation for my mom. Yep, We've never yep, yep. called anybody Nana. Yep. Um, we've called Nanny. Yep. Great, but like great grandparents yep, yep. would be nanny. Uh, so they, there's no conflict there. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure if they were called the same thing, it'd be, you know, Nana one and two, but right. that's not. No, you can't have the same name as <laughs> no. you can't have both grandparents having the same I name. I know. Grandma well, I never experienced that because my dad's mom passed away the same year I was born. Mm. So I only had my grandma on my um, mom's side. So I never had the. I think they called. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think they called my dad's mom nanny, but yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that is true. It is interesting to think about. You know, you don't call them the same. You're not like there's. I. I mean, maybe some people do, but I'm like, I feel like you don't have like grandma and grandma. That is, yeah, that's a great point. I've actually you know? never heard like there's people grandma having grandma and nanny, nanny, nana, yeah, mammy, mamma, mima. Right. Like I have no, no, and baba. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never, I've never really thought about that, but that does make a lot of sense, right? Um, but yeah, just all, all great things. Like I just so exciting. I, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier for them. I, I could, My whole family is just ecstatic. I mean, seeing my parents as grandparents is crazy. It is crazy, and it's crazy. Like it, the house dynamic, like the dynamic around the house, like in like a month, it will be very. Interesting. It's it's going to be very interesting to see because my sister and. Her husband are living at my house on Long Island um, with the baby yeah. that my parents still live in, yeah. but they go to Florida. They're normally gone. Yeah, so they still live in that house. My mm-hmm. parents are in and out because they go to Florida, um, but they're going to be there together, the four, the four of them and and baby Luca. So the dynamic will be funny. I'm sure it'll be reality show esque, uh, but it's just funny because my neither of my parents are 60 yet. Yeah. So it's like just kind of wild to think about. I'm like, man, you guys are you guys are grandparents. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Uh, but it was really nice, and I, I just, my family, we're all so close, like very very close. We talk multiple times a day. Um, it's always been that way, but I feel like this is bringing us all even closer, even how close we already are. Um, especially my sister and I, like just going through these different phases of life and growing up, like my god we're both like adult you know like you, yeah, you yeah, look yeah. at each other and yeah. you're like holy shit we're both yeah adults yeah. um like i'm getting married and, and you just had a baby yeah and yeah. it's just it's so it's so cool it's just wild to think about and we just had a ton of really great conversations yesterday just about family and life and things you learn you know we i actually thought this was an interesting conversation that my parents and i were having that like and kind of what i was saying before 
when you haven't and bear with me i'm trying to word this the right way but Mm -hmm. when you haven't gone through something or just like okay um for instance when i was younger and not even that much younger but like 20 not whatever and my cousins had babies or whatever I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, congrats, you know? Yeah. But, like, I'm not like, oh, my God, like, congratulations. Like, you know, it's not well, It's not super heartfelt because yeah, I'm a yeah, yeah. 19, 20-year-old girl yeah. who doesn't understand how extreme it really is. Mm-hmm. But when you get older and you start experiencing these big life moments, you then realize how important it is to express those feelings to other people, right? Like if that makes sense like making sure they know like wow what you did was incredible yeah yeah. you know like that's how I felt like I learned so much and I'm like wow I'm kind of embarrassed not embarrassed but when you're younger you don't like right realize how big of a deal things are yeah and now going through bigger life moments you start to realize how big of a you know and and you're like what you like my god like it's incredible and like you need to know how incredible you are like for my sister it's like you have to know what you just did was incredible Mm -hmm. and you're gonna be like the best mom you guys are gonna be great parents and just like making sure they know that you know what i mean it's very sweet yes um so just so you'll be sending gift baskets gift baskets to everybody (laughs) yeah like i'm like oh my god everybody needs to know how amazing they are for doing this you know yep uh, but it's so cool, and I'm just so happy. Yay! So exciting. So 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 exciting. Um, how was your squish? How was your past couple of days? Um, lovely, lovely. Nice. Not, 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 no, no big life moments. And Gia didn't pop out in a my kid. life. No, <laughs> no, she's good. She's good. She's uh, you two are are whispering all over the office, playing in my bachelorette. <sighs> yeah, and here's the thing. You're whispering in front of my face. It's hard. <laughs> Gia came up to me while you were standing right there. It was hard not to. Do you want to be totally surprised? No, I do. Or do you want to, or no, no, no. Or I'm just oh. actually a question. I'm okay, gauging. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to be totally surprised? Or do you want me to gauge your interest on a couple of things? I. This is what me and Gia were talking. We're right, trying right, to decide. Because right, right, right. there's some some things we're trying no, to decide. No, there's some things that I think would, that, that I would like a, some surprises. And if we, but I don't want like my entire day to be a surprise. No, no, no. But you if know? we think something is funny, we should go ahead and, and yes and do that. Yes, I told Gia I trust her judgment, and I tr- like I trust the two of you to like agree if you if the two of you agree that it's something that now if the two of you are like we think this is really funny and we know she's gonna hate this but let's do it no because that she's hasn't that it. hasn't been the thing we've also yeah. we've also been thinking about your friends yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. and there's some things where we were like her friend like sh- Fran will not hate this yeah and her friends will love like yeah, you know yeah, like yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of thing like yep, yep. it'll be a good time like funny good time for everybody sort yeah. of thing you know like we're just trying to figure those things out fair um but i think we have a good i i think we i think we we got a good idea good um so good because we've we've been we have been planning and g and i have had some conversations um with because uh, avery singer her runs batch boss mm-hmm. her company batch boss which you know they put together Bachelorette, bachelor parties, uh, yep. big parties. She, she's fantastic. Um, she, We are working with her for my bachelorette. So mm-hmm. we, G and I had a conversation with yep. her this week of like, oh, like what What do you think about this? That, so I said, you know, there's some things that I want to see before and some that I'm like, right, Godspeed. Which I think is very fair. Yeah. And I think that's how it should be. Yeah. It's like there should be, you know, nice little surprises for you. Yeah. And you, but ultimately, you want to know what you're doing, right? And at the end of the day, like activity it's, it's, wise, it's you and my sister. Like you, if I if we I, both I, fuck it up, we have there's a, pro- yeah, we got like, a problem. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> I, com- I, I completely trust that the two of you know me extremely well to know right. what I would and would not like. Right. And if and if it got to the point where you we, yeah. you looked at us like you two are both idiots, then yeah. G and I would take that on right. ourselves and go, well, we're idiots, <laughs> and that will still be funny. Yes. So yeah. Um. But no, it's super exactly. exciting, and it, it's it's coming up. You know. April, yeah, end of April. Yeah, so yeah, that'll yeah. be um, super exciting. Super That's exciting. Up soon. I'm actually going on a bachelorette trip um, this weekend. Going to Colorado. Uh, I was laughing because like there's some big, uh, there's some big like music festival, palm tree, mm-hmm. 
that I've seen on Instagram a thousand times. Aspen. People being like, on my way to Aspen. Like everyone, all the girlies are headed to Aspen. Um, I will be in Breckenridge for my friend Claire, who everybody knows is my Jonas friend. Um, she's my longest friend, friend since mm -hmm. kindergarten. Her bachelorette, which I'm very excited for. Um, and honestly, I deserve a medal for how I packed my bag. Like, I... It's not easy packing for, for cold destinations. It is really not. And I just, like, could not have been more proud of myself. Like, not only did I... My normal size carry-on bag, I fit snow pants, a puffer jacket, a, like, chunky sweater, pant, and shirt set. Two options, uh, three options technically for like more going out stuff. Lounge stuff, bathing suit, another sweat set just in case because uh, real emphasis on comfy clothes. Like an outfit for Saturday during the day. Toiletries, my tall black boots. They're all in that carry-on. That's incredible. I know. You deserve an award. <laughs> I five. The way I put my whole... And then I'm wearing multiple jackets and my yeah. snow boots on the airplane. So I, I'm wearing them right now because I'm going right to the... <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going right to the uh, airport. So I was like, shit, I, I, I got to put my snow yeah. boots on. I got this jacket and a big black furry mm -hmm. jacket to wear to the airport. I really love that Claire is doing a cold destination. Um, I Because am most bachelorettes are, are warm. Yep. Your, yours is warm. Mine yep. will be warm. Um, but it's but a, all the ones I have coming up are mostly warm. Yeah. And it's, it's just a fun... It's a fun mix up. It is a fun mix up because it's not one where anybody is also like intimidated as like, oh my God, it's a ski trip or like, mm. do you ski? Do you not ski? It's fun. It's winter fun without, you know, the, the pressure extreme of, pressure of extreme uh, can you, can you ski? Can you snowboard? Whatever. We're going tubing, which I'm very, so I'm fun. actually so excited. That's for. so exciting, <laughs> especially in the snow. Like that's yeah. awesome. Exactly. That's going to be amazing. Exactly. So, um, I'm very excited for that. And that is that's that's my that's my weekend i've been really just preparing for that that's amazing yeah that's gonna I don't be have a, anything new to say that's gonna be a fun little uh it's gonna be a fun weekend fun, i'm excited fun little winter getaway yeah <laughs> um i wish i had more episodes of love is blind to watch we're not gonna talk about it. we're gonna give people time to to make sure they catch up on all these new episodes we'll talk about it on monday but like they should have put out five episodes at least. The fact that they did that is actually fucking disgusting. And Greedy. they should be locked locked away in jail. Yeah. For at least a week. You know, I don't no, want you to go away for life and I don't want you yeah. to go away for months. But you should be locked in jail yeah. for at least a week. It's for was, I can't having, believe it. Because it Three feels like episodes. It also feels like we are locked in jail for a week, not yeah. being able to see the episodes. So now you should be locked in actual jail for keeping the episodes from us. Okay? Yep. Netflix and Love is Blind. Because now we have to wait. But man, those episodes are good. But watch it. Everyone catch up because I'm sure people are not all caught up yet. So well, we'll talk about that. Plenty to say on Monday. Yes, we're, we'll do a full breakdown on Monday. Yes. Um, let's get into the rest of the episode. Oh, no, it's not that far ahead. I thought I I keep thinking like it's farther into February than it is. You know, it is. It is. It's I know it's like the end of February, February but yes. I was like in my <laughs> mind recording this now. I was like, oh, we're not we're not going to have an episode before leap year. We're going to have like three more. <laughs> I think we have at least two. My brother-in-law just sent me another picture. Another picture. I can't oh, get it. <laughs> you just got. Let these, me see. These... Do we have an episode coming out on February 29th? No, He's February just 29th is a Thursday. Cheeks. Damn. Oh I my can't god, he looks like a little old man. He's like so grown up. Let me see. wait. Bring him back over. <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle it. Oh he's just my like god. he's just like serious face on. <laughs> Looks like he had a hard day, like working the mines. <laughs> He's just like these cheeks are so uh, scrumptious. Oh my god, what a little chub! Oh my god, adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I, I no. won't make this my entire personality going forward. Just for today. <laughs> <laughs> just for Andrea. today. Yeah. Um, do you want to just before we get into topics, do a little update on the fact that. FedEx tried oh. to make amends. FedEx reached out to me actually about an hour ago and they wrote. And now I, I feel like I'm in a, a sticky situation right now. Right, with right, FedEx. right. They're trying. 
They wrote, hi, Rhea, we would love to help you with your delivery. Do you mind sharing your tracking number or name and address for the shipment? We want to make this right. I said, hi, thanks for reaching out, exclamation point. My fiance already went to the FedEx facility and picked up the package. Thanks. They write back, we want you to know how unacceptable this was and truly want to make this right with y'all. Additionally, we also wish to address the situation internally. Could you let us know the tracking number or delivery address so we can handle it appropriately? Now, here's here's... Now I'm really starting to feel bad. You mm-hmm. know, they want to handle it internally. Right, right, right. right. Um, I don't want that. Right, you you, you want, I you just, told the story, now it's over. I was venting. You and, got and, your dining table. And the dining table's in my apartment. You, <laughs> Marty went to Mukaki. He went to Muk- Munaki. M- Mukaki. You just, Mukaki. I said Mukaki. He went to Mukaki, like Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you said Munaki, all I heard in my head was Bukaki. Oh Every God. time. Oh my God. Marty takes <laughs> Munaki is actually a great, <laughs> is actually a great little, cracking me up. Uh, I feel like I've great interchangeably when I'm talking personal stuff and like being like more serious or whatever, or like whatever I say, Matt, but then when it's like, you know, yeah, then yeah. we say Marty. Yeah. Like it's like, and somebody commented on the video yesterday being like, wait, who's Matt? Who's Matt? Yeah, fair. Marty's real name is Matt. Yeah. But then I was thinking about this they and I, the same. and I was like, people it's like any guy like people have nicknames right mm-hmm. it's like a guy's name robert and they call him rob robbie you know like th- it just depends depends what mood you're in yep just depends that was another talk that we had about the about the baby that really does depend i i go in and out of matt and marty it just depends if it's like more of a work if it's more of context a- i know i i'll say marty but because like, you don't want to confuse everyone here yeah yeah, um, yeah but yeah but it was funny because we had been talking with my family because I, everyone calls him matt his family calls him Matt, um, but they were like, you know, Uncle Matt is is like it's Uncle Matt, but yeah. Uncle Marty is like right. they, you know, it's like it's like fun Uncle Marty. But then I said a nice in between, <laughs> but like Uncle Marty could also be, be like drunk, like, drunk Uncle, Uncle Marty, Marty yeah, you know, yeah, like I you're agree. like, oh god, here comes right. Uncle Marty, oh, right, right, you don't, and you don't want that yeah. tone. But we were thinking, Uncle was- Marty's got a six pack in his hand <laughs> again. Lock the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally uncle matt's got his life together right uncle uncle matt does yeah. have his life together i'm thinking though uncle maddie because Maddie's my dad true. calls matt maddie yeah um and i love that like i love that my dad calls him maddie so i'm like uncle maddie could be cute uncle maddie and and oh, i mean are you going like aunt riri yeah yeah i mean uncle maddie and aunt riri is adorable my sister's been addressing things to me as aunt riri yeah like on on envelope. Yeah. Like my like, my baby shower invite said Aunt Riri. Yeah. I feel like uh pairing pairing Aunt Riri Aunt with Uncle, Uncle Marty is no. no. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Riri and Uncle Maddie Adorable. sounds like the best aunt and uncle Absolutely. in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. That's an all star combo. That is like oh my god, yeah. saying it out loud. Yeah. Also Aunt Riri Aunt Riri and Uncle Maddie are taking baby luca to like all the cool places watching him hold luca yo, yeah yeah God, yeah. Just... yeah yeah that, oh that unlocks a different chamber you know oh my god my heart yeah. my butterflies everything just oh joe has uh nieces and nephews mm-hmm. um his from his siblings and obviously i don't have any nieces and yeah. nephews from my own side but seeing him with them for like the first time it's just it's just like oh ho, ho, baby <laughs> oh god it's just something else yeah, you know it, is. it totally I'm like is. oh my god like and ah! if like and if your god can <laughs> that's the noise <laughs> i know one holding a newborn is like one thing and it's uh, uh, like it's adorable and mm-hmm. you're like y- your life like y- your life envisions like a movie of you like just what life is all. gonna be like but when they can like handle mm-hmm. toddler like oh, oh, yeah. you're like this is fucking adorable right you're like you know? you're gonna be a great dad yeah exactly. like oh my god my heart um but anyways yeah uncle maddie and uncle aunt maddie Riri, and aunt riri you gotta go with that they're like the fucking <laughs> coolest yeah. aunt uncle in the yeah. whole entire yeah. world i feel like riri's an easy name to say so maybe like your name's the first name right because it's easy what if what riri? if yeah, Riri what, is tough. well. That's why that my Our, siblings called hard, me though. Riri because it was just easy. Ours are a little tough. Are they? Yeah, 
did, did you hear I said my siblings called me Riri because it was easy, but they were fully talking about the time I was yeah, born. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm the youngest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I mean, the, Riri's I'm the, just cute. I'm like, the youngest child. Right. Yeah. It's just when you get that nickname because it's yeah. cute when you're a baby and they're like, oh, look at little There's Riri. There's plenty of people. There's, I feel like one of the more common uh, like speech things when kids are young is their R's to right. W's. Yeah, but maybe Luca won't have that. Yeah. He'll well, just... I mean, he'll be a genius, obviously. Yeah, he's going to be so smart. <laughs> yeah. Especially if he hangs out with Aunt Riri and Uncle yeah, Maddie. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how smart the kid will be, but he will be fun and funny. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, shit. I don't even know what we were talking about. I'm sorry, guys. I did ask about FedEx. Oh, That's what it was. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah no. He, so I think we're just going to let it die, he right? He went to Bukaki, New Jersey. Yeah, yes. and oh, we're just going to... I think I just have to let it die because yeah. I don't want anybody to like right. really seriously get in trouble. Right, 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 right. But it, but from what I could gather from like the comments and whatnot it's of people co- like, what are you doing? Because I was going to remind you to bring it up in a second. <laughs> well, you. <laughs> what just happened? What? Like. <laughs> Could you have just said like? Yeah, but I didn't want to stop, which is what's happening right now. I didn't, I didn't want to like stop. You wanted so to you, avoid this, so you thought getting up and <laughs> moving to the table, we just weren't going to acknowledge. I, usually, you, doing you don't that. say anything when I get up. When you fix the cameras, we don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah, but when you walk over you the table and pick the something set. up from the table and bring it to and your knock, desk, and you knock Zach Efron and, off, and knock Zach Efron star <laughs> Zac over. Zach Efron star just fell over. We're, we're going to be like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> so I guess we should say that trivia is going to be back on sale. So trivia is being restocked. Yeah, the trivia game is being restocked. Um, that'll be Tuesday yep. at noon. Yep. Uh, so look out for that. All the people that signed up uh, to be on the waiting list, you guys will get emails. Yep. And we're so, so excited. Thank you to everybody who bought the game <laughs> prior and uh, the people who have been waiting. Uh. And, you know, yeah, Noah just held. Really glad we went through that, Noah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to sort- cut that out now. No, no. <laughs> No. You can't. We just. I just plugged it with all that. Yeah. You can't cut it out now. The plug makes no sense. All right, fine. You it's going to sound weird on audio. Right. Well, people no, will put yeah, two and two together when I said you got up and you walked over the table. <laughs> they, you picked hey. up the trivia card game and walked back to your desk. It is kind of crazy to think about that majority of our listeners, and I don't think people know this, majority of our listeners do listen audio. Com- I feel uh, like people would know that, no? And no, some I don't think no. people know. Like majority yeah. of our listeners are audio listeners. Yeah, um, we are. Yeah. Uh, so you know, sometimes we I are feel a like podcast. We are a podcast, but pe- <laughs> but no, I know. But no, I know. a lot of people made the a lot of podcasts are more YouTube than audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like the newer the newer podcasts, the newer podcasts are much more vodcast heavy right we've been around we've been around so people who have gotten yeah. used to listen to us audio have stayed with audio yeah. some have transferred to youtube but sometimes it's a nice reminder to let people know that do listen audio yeah go check out the youtube got um, the video. and you can watch noah just walk onto the set and take that trivia thing off um and the vis- visuals are there right. but i also do understand it not being able to watch youtube and just listening to audio and your headphones whether you know i understand yeah all always to listen yep um but yeah back to fact Back to FedEx again. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, listen. I want- anyway. I vented. You vented. The table talked there. about it. The table arrived. And now there's no reason to ever, um, you know, discuss yeah, FedEx. Let's just fucking lock this in a box and throw it away. FedEx, exactly. All right. You know, we don't got to go further. Exactly. Um, all right. Let's get into the rest of the show. We're just going to touch on two quick topics. Real House of Beverly Hills trailer was released for the reunion and a little little date in Australia. Little a little date update from Down Under. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, you freaking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And I only say that because remember when I said down under last week and you were like, never say that again. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Um. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. They went on. They, they're in Australia. You got the You we got the We didn't even hit. say who, did we? No, Taylor <laughs> Travis. Taylor and Travis are Australia. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I almost said Travis Scott. That would be a, a wrinkle in things. Um, and then we have an interview with Lindsay Hubbard talking Summer House, new seasons out. And we have a great game of trivia. Great contestants on this on this trivia game. So let's get into some topics. Down under. <laughs>
McDonald's classic burgers are hotter, juicier, and tastier than ever before. So much so that the Hamburglar is on the loose. The patties are cooked to juicy perfection. The cheese is perfectly melted. The Big Mac has more special sauce in every single bite. Ooh, I had a delicious, delicious bite of a Big Mac earlier today for lunch. And let me tell you, the special sauce, it just makes it even more incredible. Big Macs are my absolute favorite. They're topped with a pillowy, soft golden bun. These are truly McDonald's classic burgers, better than ever. So right now, try McDonald's burgers, best burgers ever at a McDonald's near you. I know that when you hear this, you're going to go, man, I just want some McDonald's. I want some burgers. Maybe you want some French fries. Maybe you want some nuggets. But the burgers are where it's at. It's the best burgers ever at a McDonald's near you. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer was released. And it looks like it's going to be juicy. Now, Eric can give me something. Give me something because this rest of the season has been a snooze fest. I was yeah. locked in at the beginning. Now I'm falling asleep. But we did see on um, Watch What Happens Live, uh, Erica brought up, um, you know, how Andy need to kind of like light a fire under Kyle Richards' ass. Like put her put her under the light. Put her in the hot seat. Put her in the hot seat. That's the word I was looking for. And, <laughs> put her under the light. <laughs> put her under the light. Watch her gradually get warmer <laughs> you know, under you, the hot you know light. I mean? the flashlight. Put it <laughs> yeah, yes. under the light. Yes. Um, I tried to make that a thing right there. It wasn't. No, you. No, I got what you were saying. Yeah. Anyway, in the spotlight. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> question. Yeah. Question her ass. Yeah. Um, take her in for questioning. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, somebody take her in for questioning. She needs to be fucking questioned, and we need answers. Yeah. And and like. I mean it with respect, but like we are beating around the bush like there's no tomorrow when it comes to this situation. What's going on? How does she feel? What happened? What's been said? What conversation? She's giving us nothing. And even like the finale aired. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Full transparency, but I did see the clip. Like anytime that Kyle does talk about the divorce, it does get clipped and like made into an article. And it's like. Eh, alluding to trust being broken it's just all this mystery just fucking say it just say it i i i i mean maybe i'm being heartless because obviously they have kids and they're mm -hmm. trying to soften the blow and all these things but there was more said by maurizio in the one minute netflix buying beverly hills season two teaser then Kyle has said all season of Beverly Hills. Obviously, they're filmed at different times. Beverly Hills was earlier than this. Um, I think that Kyle... But still, like, at least, like, you know, you saw a scene of Mauricio sitting at the table. He's talking to the girls. Like, I don't know. They're handling this very different ways. I think that ways. Kyle Richards holds things close to the chest a lot of times for somebody who's on a reality TV show. Right, right, right. She doesn't like people knowing the details of her life, even though it is a reality TV show. Which is and pretty now, impressive to do for a, as long right. as she's been on TV. Totally. And I, re I respect everybody's right to do that. But when it comes to reality TV... You then have to expect people to want answers. It's a reality television yeah. show following your life. Right. So we all want answers. Are you dating Morgan or not? Did you guys have a thing or not? We see Andy ask those questions. It yeah. seems, you know, the way it's edited, it seems like there's a pause. And does she answer this? I friggin' hope so. Questions need to be asked. And they need to be answered. And I feel like the or other the two yeah. of us are stepping in. <laughs> like, no, meanwhile, we'll just get on the podcast and be like, yeah, she didn't answer anything. No, I'm. it's just, it's, and, and I feel like the other ladies feel that way too. You saw Erica, she's like, everybody put me on the hot seat. And it's different with different things. And divorce is more sensitive for some of them. But you can even tell, like, Ky looked like from the trailer that Kyle was maybe... Like, is Dorit going to have a, a, was she silent or was she silenced? The Dorit Kemsley story mm. <laughs> when it comes to Kyle Richards. Because Dorit seems to have a lot to say. And she's dabbled into it a little bit during the season, kind of questioning like, hey, I think it was valid. I think Dorit felt like she got kicked to the curb. They were, she thought they were really close and... 
Kyle kind of phased her out a little bit. So she's I a little think, hurt. She has things yeah. to say. And for Kyle to like text her and be like, hey, like, don't don't go yeah. there is kind of crazy because it's like, oh, now you want Dorit. Like Kyle wants Dorit to have her back now when it comes to filming the reunion. But talking about her all season, like Kyle was yeah. like, oh, it was, it was Dorit's like we'd go on all these trips and blah, blah, blah. Dorit and Kyle's like it was one trip. Like it's like, oh, God, they, they, there's just. That annoys me a yeah, lot. Cause yeah. Because it's like you're making somebody feel crazy yeah. for thinking you had a friendship. Yep. And now Kyle wants to like rewrite history. Yeah. It seems. You know? It does feel that way for sure. Um Kathy comes in, which is interesting because Unexpected. she hasn't really been in like she hasn't been in the season really at all. No, that's why I was like, why is she here? Since Aspen, the disaster of Aspen. Mm-hmm. Um and so, I don't know. I don't know. The way the trailer is cut makes it seem like Kathy enters the room and, and Sutton has like a panic attack of sorts. I don't know if those two things are actually directly related or if that's like a separate thing with uh, Sutton having some sort of, um, it looks like maybe some sort of panic attack. I'm not sure mm-hmm. she was really shaky. So that, you know, that's scary. I don't know what was going on there, but there is a certain dynamic of a, of a reunion. And what's also annoying, I think it's like, is this three parts? We don't need it to be three parts. Please you know? tell me it's two. Southern Charm was only two. In, oh, man. The shows these days are killing me. What happened to streaming services? Everything being put out at once. Now we got to, now we're back to waiting. Oh no! It's three parts. It's three parts. Oh god! Which you means we're not me. going to get to the Kyle after questions th- for three more weeks. After the second part, you lose me. I know. I know. I know. Because now I I just don't care at that point. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills three part reunion premieres, premieres February twenty eighth. Why is why are they doing this? How many times do I have to say it on this podcast? I know. How many times do I have to say that we'll all sit down for three hours? Every single viewer of us will do it. We'll pause it if we need, and we'll go back. Fucking release it at once. Yeah, it really does not need to be. It really does not need to be. I bet they'd get more viewers if they just put it out all out at once. I agree. You're losing people. One long extended. This is the thing because now put it as, all out on Peacock. I was gonna say. I was gonna say as Peacock stands, make a feature length film on. Hey, if Oppenheimer can be on Peacock, a three-hour Beverly Hills reunion can be on Peacock, all one, all one show. I would just put a, It's like we're so dedicated to the cable game because it's on Bravo. Mm-hmm. They have the commercials, they do the whole thing. But it's like slap that extended, explicit cut onto Peacock all at once. It would be like two hours and five minutes. Yeah, because they would yep, cut out yep, all the commercials. Yep. I would host a viewing party. If it was broadcasted, if it was announced that they were like, hey, listen, we're doing everything at once, yeah. I would literally host a party because of how excited I would be that they fucking finally listened. Right. Yeah. I would be yeah. so ecstatic. Finally! I know. They've released it all at once. I feel you. But yet, here we go. And we'll watch every part. We will. We'll be there along the way. Yeah. Um, Just take us frustrated. St- take us literally to the end of March. We'll be frustrated. <laughs> we really... Really yep. frustrated yep. doing it. Yep. But. yep. but I don't know. We'll see. It's like how long I feel like we've been talking about this for a year of like what 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 happened with Kyle and Mauricio. That's like, why I feel like it's been just been going on for so long. And that's why people just they stop caring about things. The news cycle moves fast. I know. We're on to something new every day. Which I guess maybe if you know they've just really kept it going. <laughs> they really have. Um I'm excited for buying Beverly Hills season two also. <laughs> Hey, if Mario, probably, if Mauricio's talking, yeah, I was gonna say probably be more details on that. Probably because he doesn't have somebody telling him like I, I don't think as much like right what to not. He say. lets it fly a little bit more. Yeah. Moving on, quick little just happy moment that uh, Taylor and Travis are, in, are enjoying their time in Australia. She had um, some shows in Melbourne and <laughs> what you said that was you said it that like was you were great. Australian. You said it like a in a in an That's accent. That's how you pronounce it, I Melbourne. Know. Melbourne? It, it's pronounced Melbourne. I, <laughs> I think I would say Melbourne if I was just reading yes. it. Yes. I think Americans reading it would probably just say Melbourne. <laughs> but that's not right. 
No, I, you were right. it's not right. You were right. Yeah, but even so, even when I'm right, I'm wrong. In no, your guy, you in were your right. Eyes. It's just you it's threw just a jarring. seamless Australian accent for Melbourne in it's there. It's like when Timothy Chalamet goes from speaking English to perfect French. And right, it's like, it's like when he's just speaking totally <laughs> like this, and he's like, well, what? when I'm on my way and doing the Dune premiere, I got to go putty, and then I come home, and it's like there's like yeah. one little, yeah. hey. Melbourne. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. Where else does she go? Well, I don't know. That's all I know. Mexico? Sydney? <laughs> I don't know where Sydney? her other shows were. She's in Sydney. Oh. They're in Sydney right now. They're in... Travis went to Sydney. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I would love if Travis... Do you think that they're like, oh, we're here in Melbourne? <laughs> they're in Sydney. I First thought it was all, just pronounced Melbourne. Like, I, I didn't You're know, right, by I didn't the way. know that it was just you like, are, an accent thing. I thought it was... That's how... No, no, but I mean, that is the correct... I think you that's how right. it's pronounced. It is. You are right. Okay. You well, are You not. guys are making me feel crazy yes. right now. <laughs> do not feel crazy. <laughs> I honestly think I have never said the name of that city out loud before. I think that I saw a video about Eli saying it recently. Yeah. I mean... And then I was like, oh, that's how it's pronounced. I've never said that. I've never had an, a reason to say that name. No, absolutely. <laughs> you said it the complete right way. That is the right way to say it. If you were to watch Love Island Australia and they would be like, oh, I'm from Melbourne, though they, they'd be like, I'm from Melbourne. <laughs> so you're right. Okay. It was just unexpected. Yes. We're not taking anything away from you being, you were right. It all just right. gave us a giggle. All right. That's all. That's fair. Uh, That's hey, all. I'm here for the giggles. Yeah. But she was there. Now she's in Sydney. <laughs> and now she's in, she's in Sydney. She's has shows Down in, under. She has show, shows in Sydney. Travis flew there to meet her. They had a cute little date at the zoo. And, you know, I was looking at the pictures and my initial thought was like, oh, my God. Oh, cute. Like, look at them holding hands, walking around the zoo. That's such a cute date. And then I was looking at the pictures and I was like, these are some really creepy f pictures. Like, yeah. I was like, like where they're is the like, person? They're the, aerial photos. The like, is this a were, helicopter? Yeah. There are full like, videos just following them through the zoo. No, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, who was taking this right. footage? Why can't they just go to the zoo and not have somebody following them it from above? It felt like a mega, mega zoomed in lens, too, where it was like they could have been really far away. And was getting really zoomed in coverage. Mm -hmm. um, they also went with. They with, could have been far away in Melbourne. Yeah. Filming in Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they also. They were with Sabrina Carpenter. Which is just a hilarious visual. And the memes have been flying. Kelly showed me one that was cracking me up. It was the. We bought a zoo movie, <laughs> movie <laughs> poster. But with Sabrina Carpenter on Travis Kelsey's oh, that's funny. shoulders. Because she is like, she might be under five feet tall. Yeah, like I don't know how tall she is, so but I feel tiny. like she's really, really tiny. And her next to Travis and Taylor is laugh out loud funny. She looks like they're a small child. That's amazing. So they took little Sabrina to the zoo, <laughs> showed her the animals. Um, but no, yeah, I, they're really like, there are some cute photos. And then I was like, this is really honestly like, I, this is a view that feels creepy. Like there was one shot where they were clearly posing for a photo and there was, I don't know if it was a guy they knew or a stranger or whatever, taking a picture of them. I was like, oh, that's nice. Then I'm like, where is this photo being taken? Right. And, and then you look at it and you're like, how cute. And then you're like, wait, I feel creepy. And then you start feeling creepy even talking about it. You're like, mm -hmm. wait, they're just at the zoo. Why like, can't they just go to the zoo? I know. We're beginning the long journey of Travis being available. You know, his schedule has opened up. Right. He can travel and be at shows and go where she is. But, but I also think people need to remember that he probably does have other commitments that, you know. Absolutely. That, but that he may, you no, know, once in a while, may not. Yeah. he may not be able to make every yeah. single one. If I had to guess, not, I don't think That's there would be any pressure for him necessarily, but I think he'd be like, hey. I got to make sure I make some time to be at these shows. She came to every freaking game. No, of course, but there was there were a couple he didn't get to. Oh, the yeah. beginning was in Australia. Yeah. He, he said that he had prior commitments, yep. and yep, people yep. were freaking out, being like, well, he has these commitments, and oh, it's like, I mean, well, he has- Super Bowl stuff, and- He has they, things to yeah, do. Yeah, they have, like, then of all, they have, you know, closing interviews, yeah. and they have to be at the facility, and there's, like, a full, you know, week plus post mm -hmm. their season ending that he has to be a part of. And yeah, now now, now I feel like his schedule is opening up. A little free time. And the time. two of them can take on the big world, the yeah, whole world. They can. I think it's just these shows and then maybe, does she have shows in like Singapore or something? Or did she already have those shows? 
I don't know. I forget now. I always, before she goes to Europe, because I know he will definitely be a part of, I'd imagine he would definitely be around for all of those. Not all of them, but, you know, a lot of them. Those are in different places. The last show is in Sydney, and I am going too far back, I think. Viva oh, here. Las Vegas. Si- oh, yeah, Singapore. <laughs> Singapore in the beginning of March. March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Well, she doesn't have shows in April because she's releasing the album. Correct. And I feel like we all could, you know, maybe we, if we had our had our hats on a little bit, we'd be like, oh, no shows in April. Yeah. Maybe she was planning something. Yep, yep. And that she was. Yep, that she was. And then Paris in May. Patty. So. <laughs> Album. Uh, you guys just come to me if you need something pronounced. All right. Yep. We sure will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, and that's it. All right. That wraps up the topics. This interview is presented by Coors Light. From day-to-day annoyances to the big stuff life throws your way, it's easy to get worked up. But there's a better way, a chiller way, Turn that cancel concert into a parking lot dance party. Too cold for an ocean swim? Play volleyball and light a bonfire instead. That's choosing chill. And when you choose chill, reach for a Coors Light. When the mountains turn blue, it's as cold as the Rockies. I got a cold Coors Light in my hand right now. You can see those blue mountains, crisp, ready to go. I mean, hey, I'm on my way to Colorado. That's It's right in my head having a nice cold Coors Light. I may... Have a nice cold Coors Light this week. And I think that is in the cards for me, whether you are, like I said, having a a long day, a long week, choose chill, relax, have a nice Coors Light. If things are getting you down, you're looking at things, you know, the annoyances are getting to you. Choose chill, choose a nice cold Coors Light. So when you choose to rive above it all, choose chill, choose Coors Light. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. And always celebrate responsibly from Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. All right, everyone. We are here with a very special guest. We are joined by Lindsay Hubbard here to talk about this season of Summer Ooh, House. Wow. Welcome back. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I walked in. And I was like, yes, I'm going to be a chick in the office. <laughs> I know. And you get the we get in the new studio. Like, you are quite I mean, dangerous. You look anymore, but... fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. We were, I didn't dress for, you know, yeah. this cozy, cozy we, vibes. But we were laughing. We were like, we all the three of us look like we're showing up to three different events right totally. now. But it's great. No, I said I was embarrassed. I'm sure I'm. I'm going to talk about this at the beginning of this episode. Also, I was like, I am going, I had to get dressed for work, but then I'm leaving to go right to the airport to go to Colorado for one of my best friends, bachelorettes. <laughs> and, um, you know, you can't pack the snow boots in the carry on. There's just not room. Nope. The big, ja- I have a massive black furry jacket at my desk that will be going over what I'm already wearing. And I was like, I'm going to look so silly. Cause I know Lindsay's going to look good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's interesting cause I'm actually going on a bachelorette tomorrow, um, in Miami. So like you probably need five bags yes. for all the like jackets and boots yep. and stuff. Snow I pants, need like one. Like, you need a backpack pants. with just bikinis. Yeah. Bikinis <laughs> and like small little mini dresses. Yep. Exactly. Packing for that trip way easier yes. right exactly way easier uh yeah no i have like sh- things shoved in snow but like boots in my <laughs> right, bag right. it's oh, like smart. it's crazy That's yeah. really yes nice. um so how are you feeling premiere of summer house by the time this comes out it will already have everyone will see an episode one everyone have seen it um but thursday nights 9 p.m summer house the season's back everybody has been waiting for this season i think i know it's so weird i get these dms and they're like i'm so excited for this season i'm like like, get for you you're like (laughs) i'm really not because at this point months have passed i feel like you've been on your healing journey um are you feeling better about what had happened to be honest, I feel great. I mean, I I've been so focused and busy. I've been t- I, traveling a lot with mm-hmm. my girlfriends, and then um, also this house in Nashville that I just bought is like yeah. it's a project. And I have been slammed for the last three months with my head down, like super focused and getting it up and running. And it's just it feels really good. Like I did something for myself for the first time and it's been a while you know mm-hmm. yeah. so i'm 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 in a really good yeah. headspace right now are you worried about now obviously the show coming because i feel like you have when the show's not on it's like okay nobody's seen it yet i can kind of still process and now the public's gonna watch i mean listen like you know everyone's gonna have their opinion yeah. that's that's normal that's natural bravo fans you know they 
they are they feel like they're you know they have a first <sighs> okay spit it out hubs yeah <laughs> um you know like they are witnessing our real lives yeah. right so they feel like they're in it with us and i think you know it starts a conversation um that's to be expected mm -hmm. and i'm i'm prepared for that i've been doing that you know dealing with like everyone's opinions for eight years but i just keep reminding myself like i've already lived this right. this is mm -hmm. already you know in my life it's gone it's passed and i've already gone through the whole healing process i do think there's an element of the re-watching process that will be helpful um to you know like find out what conversations i wasn't privy to right. over summer and maybe you know help explain things a little bit better but yeah, I'm I'm okay, I think, with the rewatching of it all. Yeah. Do you feel like there's gonna be moments where you're gonna have to hop online and be like, Okay, here's what really happened and whatever's being said right now is not necessarily the full story because I feel like that happens a lot and is the case with reality shows, like they can only cut and put in so much that the viewers are then left out of a lot of conversations. Um, I there's only I don't know. It's yeah. really hard to predict. Mm -hmm. You know, like who knows? Like I, I lived it. Yeah. I was there. It's my truth, my experience. And like I know what happened. And that to me is all that matters. Like mm -hmm. I don't really need, you know, to seek validation, you know, if the story is told perfectly mm -hmm. or not. Like mm -hmm. I know the story. Right. Right. Is is there anything also kind of funky too now because the show is coming out. So everybody's doing press. You're doing interviews. Carl's doing interviews. Like, have you seen anything that you were kind of like, huh, I maybe wouldn't have said that or worded that? Or like, I just feel like when you're, when you have your ex talking about your relationship publicly too, and you know, you uh, both do him, it. Let him just, talk. Honestly, yeah, I don't care. He can say whatever he wants like at this he, point. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't bother me. I don't care. Like, yeah. I, I have a full grasp of this man and, and what happened and, and how right. it went down. So, yeah. yeah, no, I don't care. At any, first, any communication between yeah. you guys, it's not like you don't have to talk, right? No. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. no communication. Yeah. I just, yeah, I don't really, I don't really feel the need. I mean, listen, like, I will never invalidate someone's feelings. Like, if he wanted to break up, like, you are valid in feeling that way. But the way he did it was just so gnarly. Right. That, like, and I'm a Leo, and I'm, like, loyalty is my number one thing, and, you know, I, this was my best friend of eight years. This was my partner. This was my future husband. Like we were in love. Yeah. And like, there's just certain things you don't do to mm -hmm. your best friend, lover, partner, future wife, you right. know? And like the way he handled everything, I think was just like really brutal. And, um, you know, I have like, like a typical Leo, like I am in your corner, but then when you, fuck with me i'm out the door mm -hmm. you know so i'm just kind of over him i think that was talked about the most was the fact that it was going around that carl called producers before telling you the conversation he maybe had told his mom he got the producers there to film you wanted to have a conversation before any of the cameras were there is that true because i think that's a natural reaction to have i mean i but there I were so many we'll different find out right yeah. i can't really speak to the production side of things mm -hmm. um otherwise i'll get a brutal phone call yeah, yeah. a stern <laughs> talking to yes <laughs> um so but either way i just think no matter who carl told before me i just think it's like messed up disrespectful and has a, a severe lack of of respect for our friendship mm -hmm. our partnership our you know being together as fiancés about to get mm -hmm. married in two months i, I think Telling anyone before telling me is messed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoever that person is. And I it, don't care if it's the president of the United States. You know, right. like yeah. you, why are you going to anyone besides right. me with like the biggest decision of your life that affects me? Yeah. And well, we're not making this decision together. Yeah. Right. That right there shows you that it's a good thing you didn't get married. No, no. It was yeah. pretty clear early on that this was the best decision that could have happened for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. It, it, there's a clip um, in the previews for the season, and I think Carl's talking to his mom, and I don't, I'm, I'm asking stepdad. That, his stepdad. Okay, so that's who that is, because at first I was like, I know that's his mom, and he kind of says like, I've, you know, I've seen a lot of couples, I've done a lot of marriage, I would not marry you guys. When you saw that clip, how did that make you feel? 
I heard about it. You heard about that. Over okay. a summer. Okay. Um, so I knew about it. And I, you know, I have feelings about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave that there. Yeah. What yeah. are what are the feelings about it? Well, you're going to have to watch the episode I to know. find it's, out my feelings. It's tough because it's like... Bravo does such a great job too with how you know the this we we watch this first episode we see the they they rope you in they show that opening scene and it, we're fast forward to like the end of summer where you guys are talking in your apartment and then it's like beep 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 beep, beep two months earlier um and we see you know the beginning of the summer and at that point you guys were okay you were in D.C. you were going to the White House oh yeah. Which is there is only awesome. one reason to miss. I mean, there's multiple reasons that you might miss a Fourth of July in the Hamptons. But mm -hmm. for for me, I mean, when you get invited to the White House, you got to go to the White House. Yeah, yeah. Especially exactly. on like the most patriotic day of, you know, the year. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was a tough decision. It was hard, but I was like, I don't know if we'll ever get invited again. Right. No, I mean, you got to take it. You're going to the White yeah. House. I think yeah, that's and it. you've done the, the 4th of July in the Hamptons every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, exactly. It was, it was nice. Uh, it was a bigger house, and I felt like. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yes, I noticed the bar in the in the house, and there's a lot of a lot of cute things. And there's also two new guys Yeah. in the house. Um, how? What was your connection to them? Because I know one of them, I think they had said you had known before. And how did they kind of mix in with the with the group? Yeah, so I met West um, the summer before. I was out with Gabby, and um, West was at this bar, and he's just like very memorable. He's so funny. He's fun. He's like a good time, a good vibe. Um, and then I was like, okay, you. I think you're gonna fit right in with this with my group of friends. Mm -hmm. um, Jesse is also memorable. He's he's tall and good yeah. looking and the we, ladies we, love him. Everybody said he's tall. That, that yeah. really got, that message was sent pretty clearly. Oh yeah, he's tall. And you know, they just bring like a fresh, good energy to the house that I think that we, we needed. Um, it, it's more like boy energy and boy boy right. drama. And mm -hmm. like boy drama is so different than girl drama that like it, it balances out, yeah. you know, a little bit more this season. And, and I think it's fun. That is kind of fair. We need, I feel like I there think, needed to be some new guy energy in the in the summer house. right because it need, felt like need, kyle and carl were really dominating yeah. a lot of the they need to mix it up because i feel like nobody ever sticks when it comes to the guys like we've seen the guys come and go yeah. besides you know the core guys that have been on the show for so long right um but i feel like it's always like new guy everyone's excited right, right. and then it's like eh, you know yeah we kind of fizzle out yeah you're right we have had a tough time with mm -hmm. the, with getting those guys to be sticky um right. but yeah. i think that, <laughs> yeah. i think we found like two bros and like yeah, you right. know bro <laughs> bros are fun yeah, yeah they're just yeah. gonna they're just there to have a good time They'll um the party yeah how was your situation with the girls in the house because we left off last season where it was not great you know your friendship with danielle but i feel like from what we've seen on social media and you know we're not in your lives like that so nobody really knows how has that friendship been um good you know we started the summer we were rebuilding we had gone to lunch right before filming started then we were rebuilding um you know as the summer progressed but it didn't really take that long we kind of just like fell back into our mm -hmm. old like fun silly goofy ways um and then at the end of the summer when everything went down with me and carl danielle was just there for me and a huge support um, and so, and we're like better than I think we ever were from the beginning. Right. Um, but I really had such a great time with the girls this summer. We got along when the, all the girls get along, the, the vibes are good. Yeah. The energy is high. We saw the TikToks you guys were making in bed, which it, I think everyone <laughs> loved that. People thought that was funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I might've even gotten into the bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. The exclusive club. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's the yeah. only club I can get into now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment in this episode where Paige in her interview was like, you know, Lindsay and I are fine. It's like, I do what I do every summer with Lindsay. I'm nice. And then when something happens, like it always turns into something like, how do you feel your relationship is with Paige and, you know, Amanda, Sierra, those girls? I, I honestly think that we're in a really great Good place. place. Yeah. yeah. Better than we've ever been before. Um, you know, you'll see as the season goes on, like I have like pretty deep, intimate conversations with, you know, whether it's Amanda Page or Sierra. Um, and I think, you know, that was helpful. Like I felt more comfortable to open up you know without being 
judged. Like mm -hmm. I felt very judged in the past. Um, and this year I just, I, I felt more comfortable um, to open up to them. And I yeah. think, you know, we have, we have great individual moments but then as a group and as a group of girls like they like thank god for them honestly yeah. because like when things you know towards the end of the summer and there was a conflict with carl which was only like you know the last couple of weeks but um they were a huge support system for me so it was like really nice to have them yeah you they're know? they're a great group of girls and to see them come together for a, a period of time where you really needed that support is yeah. is great to hear and see um you know People did have a lot to say about your relationship with Carl prior to all this, including the people in the house. Was there a part of you that kind of thought like, shit, I really don't want to have to admit to them now that like this is falling apart because of that kind of like, you don't want them to have that we told you so moment? Um, no, I never yeah. felt that way. I didn't think it was falling apart. Right, right. <laughs> Hence That's why I was blindsided. Yeah, yeah I meant right. like af afterwards. Um, after the fact, it it was like one fell swoop of it fell apart, and then mm -hmm. the whole world found out within thirty minutes of me finding out. Um, really, and it was like really quick. Um, and yeah, you'll see. We we actually. You know, the girls got together um, after the breakup, and and you'll see how that yeah. how that conversation went. And you mentioned that you said you didn't you didn't think it was falling apart before the moment it fell apart. You didn't have any like thoughts in your mind. Like, were you like, we're gonna work through all yeah, the stuff like that we have? Yeah, like you're in like a long term relationship that is going towards a forever future. Mm -hmm. Like we were engaged yeah. to be married in two months. So yeah, like. There's like when you break off, like you would think that we were like having like a rough six months of fighting right. and this and that. Like, no, like right. we had some conflicts in the last, you know, couple of times in the beginning of summer and the last couple of weeks of summer. Like that's not enough for me to like break off a forever future with somebody. So, you know, if he felt that way right. again, that's totally valid. But you have to communicate through those feelings. Mm -hmm. And also like, you know, Again, I'm I'm completely at a point where I'm like, thank God. Yeah. Um, because I don't want to be with anyone who is that easy to run away from. Yeah. You right. know, problems and you know you have to work through everything. Like that's part of being in a partnership. Yeah, yeah. totally. And you guys were, you know, you were getting married. You you're getting married. You're making a lifelong commitment to each other, regardless of if there are cameras rolling or not. Like you're spending the rest of your life together. Yeah. So it's so it makes a lot of sense because it's like, yeah, sure, there may be some conflicts that come up when we're filming a yeah, TV show. We're on TV. There's got to be something that's going on. But when the cameras stop, you got to think like, I mean, this oh, is we're like still normal engaged. stuff. Yeah, like, these yeah. are like normal things like that relationships yeah, right. go through do you feel like he was and i have no idea at all it's just a question um do you feel like there were times that you had conflict and now you're looking back and you're like huh he brought up that fight or there was this conflict because maybe he was thinking this in the back of his head and he never said it or do you think those were totally unrelated i think that he struggles with communication yeah, in yeah, general yeah. um but i also think there was a lot of times that i was being gaslit and you know once everything was said and done um and I really just like sat down with my girlfriends for weeks on end, just like putting everything on the table and just like trying to like sort through like what the hell just happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there was a lot of red flags that I was ignoring, so. Yeah. And I think what you said is ex extremely true and valid. Like if somebody doesn't want to be with somebody, they have every right to feel that way, right? Totally. Like you don't want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you. Right. That would be awful. Yep. Um, I think you're right. It just comes down to the communication aspect and how it is told to you. Yeah. yeah. So. Did you feel like, you know, obviously that this, this was a, 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 it was talked about all over, was in all the tabloids and everything. Like. Did you have a sense in those couple months after the breakup happened? Like, what is going on? Like, how are all these stories coming out? Like, there was, it felt like there was a lot of information that was maybe yeah. being leaked. And like, no, you I, know, there was, all of a sudden it was like, here's the full blown email that was sent out to the guests. Like, well, I know how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Right. Jeez. From Carl. <laughs> Well, I mean, there was a couple of media people coming to the wedding as guests, as friends um, that we had invited. And when he sent that email, I don't know why he wouldn't have, well, we yeah. don't have to go there. Like the, the whole idea of like thinking through things before you do them. Um, was it consulted with you before it was sent? Or? No, no. 
obviously yeah, yeah. not. Yeah. I would not. He sent no. that. He sent that email as like as if it was like a joint statement. Yeah, yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, I no. Yeah. This is not a we anymore, my man. Yeah. 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 There's no yeah. we here. Yeah. It's right. Just me and you. And that's so it's it. like they're, you're sending that out to a lot of people. Yeah, but on that email thread that he sent out to were some media people. Mm. Um, that I apparently, I guess he didn't take off. So that's right. how I think it got. And me. you, being a publicist, would have thought, "Hey, of we got to take these I people mean, off yeah. before they see." It. Yeah, I mean, just being like smart and yeah, normal. Yeah. Sometimes you could start feeling overwhelmed in your day to day life, whether that's at work, friendships, relationships, family, anybody in your life that can also be causing stress that you're trying to navigate those relationships in your life with and also the relationship you have with yourself. So you may be floating around the idea of, hmm, maybe I want to give therapy a try, but you don't know where to start. Better help is a great place to try and start therapy if you're thinking of it. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Therapy can be a place to work through the challenges you face in all of your relationships in life, whether that's with friends, whether that's at work, your significant other, or really anybody. So if you're giving, if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, give BetterHelp a try. Like I said, it's entirely online. Say you are feeling overwhelmed with the thought of going to therapy, showing up somewhere, getting in your car and actually having to drive somewhere to go to. You've never done it before. You could do it online. It's convenient. It's flexible. And it could be more suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get maxed with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Become your own own soulmate this way, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit betterhelp.com slash office today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash office. Once again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash office to get 10% off your first month. One thing that does seem to be a big storyline that we're getting this season of Summer House that we're starting with is the dynamic between Kyle and Amanda and they're in these like early stages of their marriage and t- debating kids and spending time together and really uh, it seems like maybe their 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 headspaces are in kind of different places right now. How did you feel like they were as a couple like the beginning of the summer? Um, <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, as with every relationship, like you have your ebbs and flows, right? Like you're not always going to be in lockstep and on the same page and you just like try your hardest. Um, So I, you know, like just like my whole situation with Carl is going to play out this season. So will Kyle and Amanda's. Mm -hmm. How has your relationship with Kyle shifted? Um, Or has it? Not at all. Yeah, I, I mean, we're, sometimes we're a little bit awkward um but then like the last time i saw him which was at danielle's birthday he was like so nice to me and gave me like 15 hugs before i left and i was like okay like (laughs) bye like i'm leaving and he like he just kept hugging me so i don't know um I don't know where we changes. Yeah, yeah, every day, every time I see him. Yeah, every time you see him, you don't know how (laughs) what what it's gonna be like. Yeah, I mean it's tough, right? Like you know, Carl's his boy he's gonna be on his side danielle's my girl she's gonna be on my side like it's just kind of natural how right that works out um i just think we'll we'll see yeah i think anytime you go through a life-changing event like that like when you have a good group of girlfriends around you it's 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 so important and i could see that from you you know going on your bachelorette trip and having your girls with you and i felt like a lot of people especially from like what i saw online were like good for you Lindsay. go on that trip like your girls love you like they should be able to celebrate you and like we should all have fun and go on this trip did you want to always still go on the trip or did you have to be kind of convinced that you should go um you know it was it was a struggle for me so obviously the the first the first two weeks after the breakup were just absolutely brutal um you know at first i was taking it like hour by hour and then it was day by day and then eventually i could like think about something for the next week um and i just i couldn't even wrap my mind around like what was happening you know in three weeks from now Mm -hmm. um so my girlfriends surrounded me they rallied around me like i've never seen before i used to cry hysterically about having the best friends in the world after my breakup because I was like, I just couldn't believe it. And 
eventually when I was able to like make that decision, I was like, let's still go like you girls deserve to be celebrated. And I want to celebrate you um, because I just truly never felt alone in this process. Like they really went through everything with me so that that never happened. And like they flew in within a day mm -hmm. of, of it. And like they were calling each other on you know, like people who've never even met before, like a best friend in yeah. Florida and a best friend in LA are on the phone. Like, yeah. okay, this is the update that I've heard. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was excited to go and celebrate the girls in the Bahamas. Um, they deserved it. I think that like I just needed to get away and that trip was really important for me. Yeah. I gained a lot of momentum. I got a lot of strength and confidence from my girlfriends on that trip. And it was like confidence in a way that was like, okay, you can do this. You can put one foot in front of the other and just keep moving mm -hmm. forward because you're not alone. Yep. And um, you know, that was that was really powerful. And then after that, I just started traveling around a bunch. Um, you know, just wherever anyone wanted to go, I was yeah. like, I'm in. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> my, my time has freed up. Yeah. <laughs> and then I wound up in Nashville and I was like, yeehaw, baby, yeah. let's buy a house. <laughs> yeah. I said to you before we started recording, I said, um, you know, the hub house that you have in Nashville um, that, you know, people can rent and it, such it's idea. such a great idea. Um, really so so smart and I said I feel like girls are going to be lining up to have their trips there and their bachelorette parties there and just seeing you know you've been posting on your socials a ton of what the inside looks like and the decor and like you went all out I it did it looks incredible yeah it was real expensive um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all for it to be just like trashed every weekend yeah. right you're like oh my god please you're like, yeah there's gonna be a fat I'm like, security deposit on this for the first week <laughs> right no but I mean what even led to you doing that um yeah yeah it all happened so quick honestly I one of those trips I was just telling you about uh wound I wound up in Nashville um in October and I just fell in love with the city there's so much to do it's so much fun mm -hmm. the boys are cute they have nice butts um <laughs> southern accents and they open the door um and so I fell in love with Nashville and then I was back there in November um for the CMAs and I looked at houses the day afterwards. Now, if you, the timeline of this, November I don't know. November to now and the house is done. Yeah. You're nuts. No, it was You're insane. Nuts. And did you look at it houses insane. Wow. For, because you thought you maybe wanted to live there? No, I or you were just I like had this knew. idea. Yeah, yeah, and like I have a, one of my best friends has a house in Nashville mm -hmm. that she rents out. Yep. I have another longtime really good friend of mine. Um, him and his wife they own uh, a rental property management company, which is my rental property okay. manager. So it, like all the all the pieces were there, and I was like, what am I doing? After I've been in Nashville a couple of times, I started realizing like. There are so many groups every single week. It's a bachelorette. Yep. It's a bachelor party. So it's a family reunion. Yep. It's um, a, a birthday party. You know, like every single week, it's just a built-in. Big groups. Big group city. Yep. All the um, time. And so I was like, okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's do it. And I just, it was very easy and natural. And, and I had been wanting to do something, you know, in, in you know, the real estate investment. Right. Um, sector, you know, for a while. And I was just like, it, it really, it just all felt like it was the right direction for me. And, and I think, I think it worked out. That's fantastic. Are you having so people just literally flooding you with, please, please, please let me stay there? Um, I ha I created an Instagram account for the house. Um, it's called, it's Hub House Nashville yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> yep. Um, there's a website that people can, you know, book the house from hubhousenashville.com, hub with two Bs. Um, yeah, so like I'm I'm trying to just yeah, but yeah, in the beginning people were DMing me and I was just like, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had your first group stay there yet? No. Um, I just literally came back from yeah. setting mm -hmm. it up. And so my girlfriends flew down and we were the first group. You got to christen yeah, you, the house. Yes. Yeah. You got to break yeah. it in. Yeah. And you could sneak some trips in there, black out some weekends for you yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably going to be like a Monday, Tuesday that yeah. I, you know, it's not booked. But um, yeah, I, I'm excited for everyone. It's a really fun house. There's yeah. a jacuzzi on the roof. That's awesome. Um, there's, it's four beds, four baths. Um, oh yeah. Wait, four beds, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Yep two car garage 
It sleeps 12. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's As a perfect. Roof deck it's and perfect. a jacuzzi. You're, it's 10 minutes from downtown. Yeah, no. You're I mean, locked you're and loaded. Set. You're literally it's, set. Yeah. so sad. People are going to love it. People are going to want to be there. So, like, you have been, you, like you said, you've been on the go. You're moving. You're grinding. You did the house in, like, three months. <laughs> Incredible. Um, new season of Summer House is out now. Everything's going, like, your friends are all there for you. Have you dabbled in the dating game at all? Yeah, of course yeah. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Um, to any success yeah. or? You know, I keep running into these love bombers that uh, like. Right away. Like, like, what do we do without right. that phrase, by the way? Yeah, yeah. I'm like. You're like, now, maybe not the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm, uh, there's like, people are in and out of this rotation, you know? Mm. Like, sometimes they're on the bench and then I'm like, <laughs> all right. I've kicked this one off the team. You're up. Yeah. Have you gotten um, any interesting DMs from people who were like, oh, I didn't expect that person to slide in here? Um, I don't No, I don't think I've slid into a couple of DMs. They've slid back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough. Like uh, this the sliding of the DMs is a little Yeah. So it's sketchy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has to be done. So I right guess way. I'm sketchy. Right. right. And, you know, yeah. Because you're like, I'm DMing. But yeah. then you're like, who else are they DMing? You know, because it's just, you're like, oh, we're, we're just messaging on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what my vibe is and who I went. Like, you have to be, like, right now, I'm just having fun and you have to fit into my schedule because mm-hmm. it's so busy. And I'm yeah. like, if you fit in, if you can chase me down and, like, you know, get in a date and make an effort to like yeah. see me when I'm in town, then yeah. great. But if not, then you fall to the back of the list. Right. Yeah. What's your ideal date? Like if, if a guy wants to show interest in you, is he planning the date and telling you, hey, I have these plans or do you like to do the planning? Um, I have so much going on that I really appreciate when a guy takes the lead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, a take charge kind of guy is really helpful. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I Time, d- place. Um, they're... There was one, this is what I'm saying, right? So, like, I went on a date with this guy, but he was so, like, chill. And, you know, he's, like, a cool guy with cool vibes. But, like, not really one to, like, call the shots Mm -hmm. and make the plan. And, like, he fell to the back real quick because... You just, I'm it's fun to hang out with, but you're like, like, hey, what do you want to do? Whatever you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what time? Oh, I, I, whenever. I'm free pick. whenever. Yeah. <laughs> right. And yeah. then it's like, then there's, then there's the guy who's like, I need to see you. I'm going to pick you up from the airport in my mm. car. And I'm yep. like, oh. You go to the front of the list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah especially in New York. Yeah, 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 exactly, you know. But um, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of like who I'm compatible with and I, and, and who is not needy but yeah. also respects that i am independent and also is you know ambitious and driven on his own i don't know there's a lot of factors in there but i'm yeah. not i'm not putting too much pressure mm-hmm. on it you know right. i'm just having fun and hope hopefully something works out yeah. at some point but if it doesn't like i'm i'm booked and busy where you know? where is your head at with Summer House, right? Because some like you, we have been following along for years. You guys have been so great. The show is we love the show. We've always mm-hmm. loved the show, and now, you know, not to to like compare situations, but like we're watching a season of Vanderpump that just came out. Where like Ariana is like, I will not be around Tom. I will not film. I will not be around him. Like you, now, as you move on with the show, how what's your headspace like with that? How do you think that's gonna be? I mean, I think I'll just have to come back in like May or June and tell you then. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You're like, I can't think that far ahead. Yeah, honestly, the, honestly like, I don't even know what day it is me. now. <laughs> like, apparently, Summer House comes out tonight. I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, exactly. that's tonight. Yeah, I was yeah. like, are you having a Summer House party? You're like, I don't know. I don't <laughs> think maybe. so. I'm like, I think so. Maybe. I don't there know. There always is something. Yeah. I just, I think, you know, of course, everybody is already looking ahead and thinking right, about it. Like because, what's next season going to yeah, be? Yeah, I mean, summer's not that far away. No, it, com- it comes quick. It does It does come <laughs> quick. So, yeah. all right, well, we'll, we'll revisit in a yeah, couple months. Go, but. Call, give me a call in June. Let's talk <laughs> then. I could have, you know, a very different answer in June than I do now. Like right. I, I feel very different now than I did four or five, six months ago. Like right. mm-hmm. seven months ago, I thought I was getting married. Seven months later, you know, like I, I'm in a different headspace. So four months from now, yeah. I don't know where my headspace is going to be, but I do feel that I am, I'm myself again. And, and I feel really good about that. And I feel passionate about my projects and 
Um, you know, and the future is bright and I'm excited for it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's crazy it should be. Yeah. Lindsay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah, you coming so much. To talk for to having us. me. Um, Summer House on Bravo, Thursday nights, mm-hmm. 9 o'clock Eastern. Everyone tune in. I think everyone's going to be glued to their TV. With their monocles. Yeah, and, every you know, Thursday <laughs> night, and analyzing and every conversation. With their phones like this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Taking note of everything that's said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Uh, all the way up until the end. Uh, I'll be doing <laughs> the same. <It's> <laughs> I'm also going to be yeah, there so doing we this. Will be, uh, we will be taking notes. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for yeah, coming. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks. Are we going to change the name to like Chicks? in the living room right? yeah yeah right <laughs> i know it is way comfier in here yeah now. i know I'm, I'm <laughs> after this. superstar singer maren morris partnered with visible this singles awareness day with an amazing new cover of dancing with myself visible is the one line wireless plan designed for singles celebrate being independent by saving on wireless Switch to Visible and get a one-line wireless plan with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Just $25 per month, taxes and fees included. One-line wireless, just like I said, $25 a month, taxes and fees included. It's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Singles Awareness Day was February 15th, and Visible celebrated by partnering with Marin Morris to cover the hit single, Dancing With Myself. It's an absolute banger, and everyone should listen to it. Stream the full song and watch the performance at Visible.com. Switch to Visible now at Visible.com. Being single is something to celebrate, and not just on Singles Day. So with Visible, you don't need anyone else to get the best price on wireless. New members only, promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Beat Rian Fran. This is game number 113, and we are joined by two very special guests, Derek and Amanda. They are in Boston right now, and let me tell you, they came with the energy. They, They are ready to go. Absolutely. I felt it. You guys feel good. Oh, yeah. We we're we're really here know. for it. Amazing. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into it. 15 questions. If you get the question right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, the other team can steal the point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins to determine who goes first. Noah is going to give us a movie. We are going to guess the critics score, Rotten Tomato score. Everyone gets their own individual guess. Whoever is the closest, their team will get to go first, and we will alternate guesses between teams. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie is White Men Can't Trump 2023 with Jack Harlow. Oh. Oh. Okay, so one of you guys throw out a guess first. Yeah. I quite quite literally never heard of this. Yeah, I don't think it did very well. Um, (laughs) Original is a classic. I'm going to go like a a 41. Maria, you want to go? I'm gonna go 42. Mm-mm. Strategic. <laughs> um, I literally don't know this movie. The 29. Yeah. Oh. You're, you're, yes, you're good. I'm gonna say, I think this movie was like a, really bad. I'm gonna say like 17. Amanda's the closest. It's 26. Oh, all right. Let's go. Awesome. Okay. All right. So question number one to Derek and Amanda. Shout out Kelly from Ambler, Pennsylvania. On Friends, what was the name of Phoebe's mysterious roommate? Mysterious roommate? Like, what do you think that is? Like, because we, we kind of have only watched like the first I'm, couple seasons. So, yeah. Like, I, don't, later. I don't know. Um, it's probably just a random name, right? Oh, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, do you remember? It's not like her sister know. or anything. Right? I don't know. It's, yeah, just. Okay. Well, mysterious roommate. Susan? Let's go, Susan, it. Noah. Incorrect. It's, it's, I don't know. Is it Regina? Maybe. That sounds, but I know she says Regina Falange for other things, but does she say her roommate is Regina as well? I have no clue. Let's go with Regina. Final answer. Yeah. Incorrect. Denise. Oh, and oh, she yells, she yells, Denise! Denise! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can hear her voice <laughs> saying it. Okay. Zero, zero to Rian Fran. Kelly from Ambler again. 
Which Real Housewife franchise does not hold anything in their opening credits? There's only one. Um. All right, so not New York, not Beverly Hills, not Atlanta. Miami, Potomac. Is it Jersey? Salt Lake City? 10 seconds. Jersey? Five. Let's go Jersey. Jersey? Yeah. Yeah. Jersey. Sure. Correct. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there's. I could list them all out for you, but like it seems very random what people hold. We got apples, peaches, yeah. snowflakes, yeah, well, diamonds. We, we know that part. Apple, New York, peach, Georgia, diamond. Like they, Ar- they, yeah. all, they I guess align. orange for Orange County makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, think about it, they actually make a lot of sense. Champagne glasses for Potomac. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah. The, the um, other ones, I think they just give drinks. Okay. What does yeah, Miami hold? Yeah. Uh, it just says drink glasses. Oh, my, okay. They should have held like a pork roll, egg, and cheese for Jersey. Yeah. 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 Clearly, they couldn't think of something. (laughs) Okay. One nothing, Rian Fran. This is to Derek and Amanda. Shout out Lindsay from Pittsburgh. In Beyonce's song Formation, what two states does she say her parents are from? Cool. I don't know, Beyonce. I mean, she's from Texas, so Texas is no, probably one I'm, of them. I'm going to lock into Texas only because I have not a clue. And yeah. um, she just came out with that song, and I feel like I could picture Texas State. and her. Okay, Texas and, her song. and a parent. Ugh. Is it somewhere around there? Is I, it like a, no, a Louisiana, no. Mississippi? No, literally. Not in Alabama? Um... <gasps> Do Texas, wait, Texas, Alabama. Okay, Texas, Alabama, final answer. Incorrect. Uh, it, it, it is. It is Louisiana. Oh! oh Texas, Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah, Texas, Louisiana. Final yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. Incorrect. Oh. It's my daddy, Alabama, mama, Louisiana. Alabama, oh. Louisiana. Oh. I know Louisiana. Yep, yep, yep. That, yeah. I don't Because then when I heard Texas and Bama, I thought that was right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because she says yeah. Texas Bama in another that. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, mm. that's what I was thinking of. And then her new song, so catchy yeah. on it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Still one nothing, Rian Fran. This is to them. Shout out Ellen and Biz from Philly. Cameron Diaz and Game Nicole. Two for them. <laughs> they got a bunch of questions. <laughs> Cameron and Diaz and Nicole Richie are married to the Madden brothers. Which is married to which? And just first. Just uh, Nicole is married to Joel Madden. And Cameron Diaz is married to Benji Madden. I'm pretty sure that's right. Okay. I don't think Nicole's not married to Benji Madden. No, she's married to Joel Madden. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Two nothing. Rian Fran. Question number five to Derek and Amanda. Shout out Michaela from Newton, Massachusetts. Shout out Newton. That's where my dad's from. Nice. That's oh God, one town over from next us. Door. Wait, really? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Out of the whole Jersey Shore cast, only one is not from New York or New Jersey. Who is it and which state are they from? Pauly D, Rhode Island. Yes, yes. Pauly D, Rhode Island. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> wow. You are very sure of that. Is someone from Connecticut? Yeah. But then you said that in it. Yeah. Yeah. It, yep. it uh, balanced <laughs> yep. me out. That's great. Okay. 2 1, <laughs> Rian Fran. And this is to Rian Fran. Shout out Carly from Boston. Wait, I kind of have a stupid question, though. What? Where's Staten Island? New York. I mean, it was, it, he said between New York or New Jersey. Not right. New York or New Jersey. In the five boroughs. Oh, my God. Wait, Staten wait. Island is considered New York. Yeah, it's one of the five boroughs. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> she prefaced. Yeah. But even then, it's still, it would be in the state of New York, if, if, mm-hmm. even if it wasn't. No, no, I know. I, no, yeah. I didn't. I, whatever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> moving on. Okay. <laughs> I won't explain any further. <laughs> Question number six to Rian Fran. Shout out Carly from Boston. In the movie Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, what job does Ricky Bobby get after he has a breakdown and can't race anymore? I don't know this at all. I, don't, I think I've maybe seen this movie one time. Okay, so he has a breakdown again. He stabs his own leg in the thing. Mmm. 15 seconds. Does he work at a, at a waiter at 
Applebee's. We love Applebee's. We love giving Applebee's that. as an answer. Final answer? Yeah. Incorrect. Derek? Can you okay. think, what does he get or where does he work? What what job? Did, he gets a job. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's something. It's just something lame. Oh, 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 I know it. Uh, pizza delivery guy. Would, specific, do you have anything? <laughs> it, final answer. Pizza delivery. Correct. Wow. That definitely <laughs> yeah. suffices. He said, uh, wait, no, I know it. <laughs> Man, it was like, can you give I'm a like, specific like, pizza Domino's place? Yeah. Pizza Hut? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, no, that. That is it? Pizza delivery okay. guy. All right, tied up at two. And yeah, because that one scene that was at the Applebee's mm-hmm. where uh, Amy Adams is like crawling on the table. <laughs> okay, tied up at two. This is question number seven to Derek and Amanda. Shout out Lindsay from Pittsburgh. In the challenge, Johnny Bananas infamously steals which cast member's winnings? Just the first name. No, I. Oh. You really don't ever get challenged. I'm really I know, uh, I'm we're a ch- yeah. I've seen some challenge USA, like, but that's pretty much it. So well, yeah, you have haven't watched. With? Who is he a beef with? Like I mean, he would take it from anybody. He would take it from anybody, so, but uh, really, really, everybody's true. With their <laughs> Fifteen I don't seconds. Know. Just throw out her name. Okay, like an old all the winnings. That's older. I feel like. Yeah, it's got to be older. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, so, yeah. a name, a name, a name, a name. Five seconds. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> I'm blanking on their Time names. Time is I'm up. Jennifer, final answer. Incorrect. Sarah. Sarah. Oh, yeah. Final yeah. Answer. What did we yeah. Sarah. Correct. Sarah. Correct. That was my second one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two. Rian and Fran. Question number eight. Two, Rian and Fran. Shout out Jordan from Austin. Which actress has appeared in these franchises? X Men, Fantastic Beasts, Divergent. Batman. Actress? Can you name them again? X Men, Fantastic Beasts, Divergent. It's Batman. Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. Zoe Kravitz. 15 seconds. Yeah. Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. What is she in the Divergent? She plays movies? like the. She plays Sh- Shailene's friend that she makes. Oh. I love I, Divergent. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I loved it when it came out. And I have not watched, gone back to it in a long time. Yeah, I've never like haven't yeah, watched it in so. years. Yeah, would have never. I watched that. it recently because I, I just love the movie. Yeah, <laughs> I, do, I do like a do love a little Theo James. I think I watched it when Theo James when he yeah. was in White Lotus. Yep. Okay, four two. Rian friends. Question number nine to Derek and Amanda. Shout out Juliana from Boston. Name the first names of these Grey's Anatomy doctors by only hearing their last name. Robbins, Sloan, Karev. So, never watched the show, except yeah, for that musical be, uh... episode by accident. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what they said there. Um, don't like the literally. The only one I know is 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 McDreamy's name is Since Gregory. The, That's the only one I know. I can't but, uh, even guess because yeah. like it literally will not be right. So pass. Pass. So it's their first names. First names. So it's Alice Karev. Oh, I got it. Mark finally, Sloan. finally, I just couldn't think of Robbins. Arizona is her first name. Arizona. So it's Arizona. Yeah. Mark and, and Alex. Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Correct. <laughs> Do you try and give try and fake us out there? No, no, I just, <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. Yeah. Harder. <laughs> like, but you, okay. can, he gave us like a look, like how could you? Like, he gave us a look like those were really dare dumb. You, like how, how, how dare, dare you, you those say right. those answers? <laughs> okay, five two Rian Fran, and this question, this is question number ten to Rian Fran. I'm gonna play a movie clip, and you tell me what movie it's from. She begged me. You can't not to care say- for her by doing what she wants. You have to do what she needs. And that is why I can care better than a family member because I have no skin in the game. I just do what is right for your mother. So yes, I manage your mother's money because someone has to. She let it run into quite a mess. Managing a mother's money. Is it Crazy Rich Asians? I don't think so. 15 seconds. I don't have another guess. I don't know. Five seconds. I don't know. 
All right, let's throw it crazy, out there. Crazy Rich Asians. And correct. Like, I don't think it's a robot. No. I feel like, ugh. A voice? I have a guess, but I don't think it's right. Okay, well, tell, it, talk it out. Is it a, a garden state? Because they, like, go back know. and the mom is, like, know sick. I don't that one. Well, there, it sounds like a robot. Is there a robot movie? Like, it sounds like she's like being like an AI helper or something. Yeah, but it's not, a, you know, robot house or whatever. I don't. <laughs> Smart ten, house. Ten <laughs> Smart house. <laughs> robot. Yeah. Um, it sounds like, a, uh, 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 like gosh, you know I don't know. I don't know. Three seconds. Think of a movie with right. technology and no. like a. Like a Garden thing. State, final answer. Incorrect. I care a lot. It's Ro Rosamund oh, Pike. Oh, that Netflix movie. Yeah. That was a really good movie. No. Wouldn't have got it. All right. I don't. I've never. Wait, you, you never saw, saw that you movie. Saw that. I feel like it we was good. About it. Yeah. No. Came out a couple of years ago, with where Rosamund she, Pike. Yeah, where she like takes advantage of all the. Yeah. Old don't. People. Well, don't spoil it. It's a good movie. <laughs> no, I, I never. I saw think it. I get the taste really? now. I think you did. <laughs> we like talked about it on this podcast. Maybe you two did. I don't think I. I don't think I ever saw this. Oh, it's good. You should watch it. It's on, yeah. It's on Netflix. <laughs> okay. Still five two. Re and Fran. Yeah. Oh. Big question here. Big no. question. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. All right, no, come on. Uh, shout out Alan and Biz from Philly. This is to Derek and Amanda. Oh yeah, I never. I I know this, but I didn't see it. Put these couples in order of how long they've been married. Oh Jesus. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen, Miles Teller and Kaylee Sperry, Nick Jonas Kelly. and Priyanka Chopra. Okay, I'm gonna say. I feel like Nick, Nick Jonas is toward the end earlier yeah um, who were the first two Mila, repeat them really quick Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher John Legend and Chrissy Teigen Miles Teller and Kelly Sperry Nick I Jones always think about the Trump. trick like I feel like okay. the trick is that the the John Legend and Chrissy Teigen have been before Mila Kunis and I don't Ashton think Kutcher, so. was married before to Demi Moore okay, oh, fuck. okay. so I would say I would say uh Mila Kunis and then John Legend and then no, actually, let's switch those because I think that's the trick. Five seconds. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Final answer here you is Ashton Kutcher, then Miles Teller, then Chrissy Teigen. No. And then the last one. No, Miles Teller is after Chrissy Teigen. Okay, final yeah. answer. Yes. I said final answer. Okay. Incorrect. Mm. Sorry, I'm afraid. Okay, I think Chrissy and John are the longest. I think it's Chrissy and I John. I think it's Chrissy and John, Mila and Ashton. I. Are Miles and Kelly after Nick and Priyanka? They, I don't know. They might be. No, I think they got married before then. That could be wrong. Yeah. I would Ten go seconds. before. Chrissy. Okay, Chrissy and John. Uh, Mila and Ashton. Uh, Miles and Kelly and Nick and Priyanka. Final oh, answer. Incorrect. Is it? It's John and Chrissy, Mila and, Mila and Ashton, Nick and, Nick and Priyanka, Priyanka, Miles and Kelly. Kelly yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I should have stuck right. with my guns there. I, I've, 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 for now. Yeah, you're, you guys are alive. Second. I, I've, I've weirdly felt like I did know that. It's all, it's all very, I mean, Nick and Priyanka and Miles, they're, they're a year off. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Question number 12. And this is to Rian Fran. Shout out Taylor from Hammond, Louisiana. What early 2000s Disney movie is this quote from? She is dead, worse than dead. She will spend the next year in a phoneless, dateless, Amish existence. Is it a Disney Channel original? Hmm. Uh... Let me check on if it's a decom, but it's it's definitely Disney. The decom part matters. Ten seconds. Uh, yes, it's a decom. Five seconds. Starstruck. Sure. Starstruck. Incorrect. Derek and Amanda. Okay, I was gonna say like confessions of a teenage, mm -hmm. like if she got in trouble or something. Um, but okay, if it's a decom, is it the only thing I could think cowbells? of is, is like stuck in the suburbs. <laughs> oh no. Okay, stuck Wait, in the suburbs. She gets in trouble and like she won't thing. have the you don't phone. Know this. I don't even mind. I'm asking you. This. See you I, yes. Okay, seconds. that's a good guess. I think. I don't. I don't know what that it is, but stuck in the suburbs. Stuck in the suburbs. Final answer. Incorrect. Freaky Friday. 
Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. oh, we should have known that. Also, Freaky, Freaky Friday, Friday is not a decom. It is. I just looked it up. It's not a decom. It says Disney. I looked it up. Oh, it's a, my it's God. A, it's, it's a, a Disney, Disney movie, movie but it's not a decom. It came out in theaters. Decom is like the movies One that, that premiere at like 8 p.m. on Friday night on Disney, on Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky Friday is like a, that was a worldwide movie. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ma made by Disney. We should have thought that. Ah. Um, I just don't think you know what a decom. No, is. I know what a decom that is. is. That's why I was surprised not, when I saw it said no, decom. No, it's definitely not a decom. No, it's definitely okay. not. Okay, well, that's all right. We didn't get it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I filtered yeah. my Damn. to decoms. Damn. Right. I went. Damn. I went I only to. I feel you. I went only to yeah. decoms. <laughs> oh, you know Friday what? You know what? It's because the thing that first came up was Freaky Friday 2018 film, which was a decom. Oh. Not the. Yep. Not the yep. original. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Classic movie. <laughs> Five two. Ryan Fran. And you yeah, you guys are no, you didn't lose. You got you could you could tie this Is up. Is there two left? There's three left. Three left. Oh. Okay. Oh! I miscounted. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh question number thirteen. And shout out Kelly from Ambler, Pennsylvania again. And this is to Derek and Amanda. In thirteen going on thirty. What was the group name of the popular girls? Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay, what popular girls? Was it Jennifer Garner and the girl? No, 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 no. Little no, girl. No, she wasn't in, in it, the... and she wanted to be in it, and then she, she made the wish. <laughs> She uh, oh, she wanted to and be she, in it so bad. She wanted to be in it so bad. And what like was the name? I feel like it's like the click or something like the. Five the, seconds. The, we're, no, uh, the clicks. The no, no. The I click. Know. Final answer. Incorrect. <sighs> to and Fred. It's not. Is it something to do with like the amount of girls? Like some five. The. Fifteen seconds. Shit. I mean, for some reason, like plastic. Like it's obviously not the plastics. Like why is that popping yeah, into my I head? Know. Um, I love um, Five seconds. Chicks. Something chicks. Time is up. Six chicks. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> wow. wow. What a pull. Wow. Yeah. The last there. second I at really, the buzzer there. I really worked through that yeah, one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I really worked through that one. <laughs> okay, 6-2. That does seal the victory. Nice. Dang. I know it does. And I'm like, where are the Harry Potter questions? <laughs> yeah. where, are the, where are the Drake and Josh questions? <laughs> <laughs> really bad. You never know what kind you're going to get, you know? Question. I know, it's a mix. I know. Yeah. Damn. Uh, okay, final two questions. Question number 14, and this is to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Hallie from Clemson. In Crazy Rich Asians, what color does Rachel's mom encourage her to wear when meeting Nick's family? Green? That's weird. I don't remember. Green or purple? Take a guess. Hmm. I'm going to go green. Yep. Green. Oh, Incorrect. <clears throat> Derek and Amanda. Uh, purple. It, purple can be uh, a symbol of. Is it red? Richness. Red could be. Purple is really. Purple I is really good. Actually, red. I, yeah, red I, is a. Uh, I don't know. You really. know, I'm gonna go red. I'm gonna go There's red. Six for clues Southeast for this Asia, one red all. is a, a color of power. Let's go red. No, a final answer. Correct. Wow, <laughs> that's a good call. Where's yes. that? It's considered good luck. Uh, it is. Red is considered oh. good luck. Uh, well, that's great. Six three. Oh, so and, close, so close to the comeback. Uh, One more. Final answer, our final question. question. Shout out Mag, Mag, Maggie from Houston. And this is to Derek and Amanda. What colors Maggie. did Kendall and Kylie respectively wear at the 2019 Met Gala? Is that when they did the whole I'm um, orange or purple thing? Well, it's last pre COVID, so use that. Derek, I don't. That doesn't like narrow it down at all. Okay. <laughs> um, 2019. I'm just thinking of their looks that they did together. They did the orange purple thing. They were like fluffies, but like that's Ten not seconds. like a titled thing. You, you, 
So like I don't okay. no, but I don't know. They're not things though. They're you said just colors. Like, it's just colors. Yeah, it's just colors. Who wore what colors? Who wore what color? Oh my god, who wore which one? Do it. Do it. I think Kylie did orange. Kendall did purple. Final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. It's yeah, the other way around. Right. Yeah, it's the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't give them that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kylie wore purple. Kylie wore yeah. purple. Kendall wore orange. Oh, you were there. You complicated it yourself too much. You know, you gave yourself a harder question yeah. than what it was. <laughs> Can we go into like pity overtime? Like, is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys I were know. great. I wish we could play. Sadly, you every week. No, <laughs> Noah's but gotta keep that. I, I can't down. be. Yeah, like these. I, I need. Yeah, I need to stick to some rules. We're going on tour. I need these questions. Questions are precious. Yeah, yeah. questions <laughs> are precious. Can see the score. I'm mortified. Like, <laughs> six three is that not was that good. bad. It's a good score. It was a good yeah. score. It was a good game. Totally. You guys. Can I tell you guys a really quick fun fact? Absolutely. I actually answered your first ever live trivia question. Oh, you did say that. Yes, wow. at the Boston show. Really? Your first show in Boston, and when you went on that tour, we were at the first show. Oh, my the- God. And That's and amazing. I going to say I really answer. actually yeah. do. Re- there is something about your voice that sounded extremely familiar, <laughs> and now oh, that you does this? make Most sense. cards. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, just, yeah. oh I was going to say God. that. It totally that's, makes sense. I remember sense. Yes. We, we got there <laughs> late. So like we were sat in like the middle aisle, so we were very visible. And then like the first question came up, and I was so mortified. I was embarrassed. Derek was like, "I've got it." And I remember Rhea was like, "That guy looks like he really wants to answer this one." I, right I definitely aisle, so did say that. Yeah, content. yeah. But I, right. no, I mean, you're you're I, filled I, with trivia I feel knowledge. Like I remember some pointing. Like you were like, yeah, I, know. "Like I got this." I, was I got like this. Hiding in my seat, I was like, "Are they doing second rounds of Pick Whitney?" Because I'm mortified. <laughs> What was, the, what was the name of that venue? Ned Devines. Ned Devines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah. crazy to, to think we, we did that show. Well, we got to come back there soon. From Sprint as he entered. Pretty yeah. cool. Pretty oh, cool. yeah. Wow. Love that. that Love was that. His, his first entrance. But yeah. it was still a surprise. You know? Yeah, his yeah. first one. Of course. His first big entrance. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys so much yeah. for playing. Thank you for supporting. Thank you, guys. Thank you, for, support. thank so you for coming to the first show. I hope we see you guys soon. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. guys. Thanks, guys. Send your addresses. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want merch, send your address and sizes, and we'll send you some merch. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Thank you so much for watching and listening. <laughs> that like was flying out of my mouth. Like I almost didn't even realize the words coming out of my mouth. Sometimes it's just automatic. Yeah, I was like a robot right there. Um, but we hope you have a fantastic weekend. We love you guys and we will talk to you on Monday. Love you. Mwah. <laughs> I want to cut together a, com- a compilation of all my goodbyes. Kisses. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>